In his opening address at the Belt and Road Forum, Chinese President Xi Jinping vowed to build a new global economic reality, one step at a time. Politicians were listening, but so were business leaders. People like Wang Cheng. He's a top executive from China's TCL Electronics. Currently, TCL's foreign sales make up half of all its business. Wang expects that number to soar to more than 80 percent in the coming years, thanks to the initiative. So the most impressed word for me is connectivity. So this is the word for globalization. Uh, I mean, you close the door, you isolate, that has no future, as featureless. So TCL, as the top TV maker, the electronic maker in China, we should be part of the globalization. We used to put more focus on Europe and the U.S. Now the Belt and Road Initiative provides the strategy and financial support and also many opportunities to focus on Africa and the rest of Asia. We asked this delegate from Tajikistan, China's neighbor, if he's concerned the forum will be heavy on promises and light on delivery. No. No, I don't think it should be described in that way. I think the Belt and Road Initiative will play a very important role for China and for its neighboring countries. It will facilitate economic cooperation and cultural exchanges on the global stage. This Egyptian delegate says delays are often local, affecting projects like his country's Sumed pipeline. China, he says, is changing that. Instead of giving pledges only, what they're doing is they're going immediately into projects. So this way the pipeline moves very fast. Just hours before President Xi's speech, nearly a dozen laborers working on the China-Pakistan corridor came under attack, a reminder of the security challenges facing this initiative. You know, everybody has to make joint efforts, and I think we are doing everything, whatever we can, and now we'll take more mayors, more extraordinary mayors to overcome these difficulties. This American delegate who works on health issues told me the U.S. government was here to listen and said there are a lot of areas where Washington could help the Belt and Road. Of course, the U.S. is not a participant in the initiative, but it does have a high-level delegation attending, meaning the forum's reach may go much further down the road than it initially intended. Rui Ruttenberg, CGTN in Beijing.